So welcome to Desert Fest Berlin, where I have Dope Lord with me. Uh, first of all, how is Dope Lord circa 2018 doing? We're doing, we're doing all right, thank you. Uh, actually, this is our best and biggest year so far, I'd say, since we started working with um, with Florian at Doomstar um, late last year, and we've had. Well, actually, we're wrapping up our uh, second big uh, tour this year. So it's getting better and better, I guess. We haven't had that last year any, anywhere before that, so things are good. Trick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, uh, your latest album was released uh, last year, so um, what are your thoughts about that album, and uh, when are we going to hear the new Dope Lord music? I think... Uh, not sooner as if as it's recorded so we have to record it first and as soon as we do it it's going to be released so we hope for uh, next year yeah and we'll do whatever uh, we can to do it so yeah, yeah i mean we're, work we're working on some new stuff uh, but it's in very early stages really and with uh, this much touring that we have this year um, and some of us having day jobs too, and uh, you know, kids, family, stuff like that. So um, it's it's much more time consuming. Uh, the fourth album, I think, in creating it will be much more time consuming than any of the other previous ones that we've uh, we've recorded so far. Okay, and uh, what are your expectations for tonight's gig here in Desert? <laughs> Our expectation is for it to be awesome. I don't know, man. Um, we're hoping for, for a good gig, lots of people, good sound, um, good mad sales. I don't know, someone bringing us some weed, finally. It's been here two hours already, and so yeah. <laughs> Anything else you are hoping for? Just f uh, that it would be a great uh, and awesome show for everybody. That's it. And uh, how do these uh, festival gigs differ from, let's say, a normal uh, club gig for you? Well, you have to be three hours before the show. That's uh, one. So we, we drove for the whole night from Brussels. Uh, you have uh, far less stage time than at the club gig. So you have to choose uh, uh, from the set list that's usually a whole and uh, you have to just uh, scratch something out so that's pretty hard but the attendances are better i think yeah, I guess. <laughs> slightly better slightly better <laughs> slightly better plus on club gigs you rarely have a chance to be uh, dressing room neighbors with mud pike which is the case here. <laughs> now it's different, you know. The atmosphere is different. There's lot much. Uh, there's, there's just much more going on. There's uh, a lot of people running around. It's. Um, I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's and good. you don't have to sell your own merch. Somebody does it for you, so that's great. That's also pretty cool. You have to pay them, but yes. So, uh, am I right that your tour ends tonight, or? Uh, it's correct. So, how has the tour been for you? Uh, great, really. Uh, our first tour this big um, across Western Europe, uh, the one we've done earlier this year was Southern Europe mostly and the Balkans too. So uh, this is uh, partially this is new territory for us. We've uh, we've done three, six, nine day nine day runs, but we've never done uh, anything this big uh, across Western Europe. So uh, you know some stuff is new. Some clubs we've already uh, we've already seen some for some of them we've already been to. With some promoters, I think we've worked before, but there's a lot of new stuff for us. Lots of uh, lots of new places, new people, a couple of new countries that we've visited this year. Um, but yeah, overall, I'd say the tour is uh, coming along on quite nicely. Yeah, and I have uh, only one thing to say: the tour ends when you are sitting in your. Uh, at your couch in your house so actually it doesn't end tonight it will end tomorrow like late afternoon i hope i hope yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay yeah so many great bands here in one place but uh, for your band um, 
What are the inspirations for your music and your lyrics? You know, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the horror, occult, the dope. So uh. it's like I, I, I'm gonna answer that. Just look, your, at, you look at my fans. Yeah. <laughs> inspiration. Thank you. Like back when we started, uh, it was mostly about horror movies, which Mjodek was really into back then. Um, but I think. Uh, over the years, we've just sort of established or maybe created uh, like several themes we go about with our lyrics, if that's what you're asking about. And that's mostly, it's mostly like black magic stuff, you know, all these oddities, a uh, bit of horror maybe, but also like, uh, like your everyday life uh, frustrations and, and trivialities that you have to deal with. And um, so there's that. And as far as music goes, um, I, I think that's pretty obvious. We just wanted to start a band that would sound like uh, uh, like all the other bands that all of us like. So I don't think I need to go into details, do I? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But uh, also, uh, what does uh, stoner or doom metal mean to you as a genre? As a genre? Uh, I think Dominic from Major Kong described it quite accurately, uh, but I'm I'm not sure if I can if I can um, if I can say it the same way exactly. Basically, it's about heaviness and repetitiveness, to me at least. And you have to throw in a little bit not of melody to it. Yeah, it, uh, with with these uh, uh, genres specifically, it's a problem because uh, the names mean. Uh, so uh, different things to other people because you have like funeral doom and you have like pentagram style doom so and that's like quite uh, different things so uh, you, you nowadays it's 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 very hard to to determine what's stoner and, and uh, what's doom so uh, I don't know. I can say uh, what's not stoner and what's not doom, but uh, <laughs> uh, maybe it's uh, not the best time to do that. <laughs> so for me, like the, the simplest rule of thumb you can apply here is if it sounds good when you're stoned, it's stoner rock. Mm. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, no, no. Not always, not, of course. I mean, you have your no, 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 <laughs> you have no. your ambience and all no, this different no. kind of shit. And some things suck. Usually, when you're stoned, music sounds different yeah. and uh, most of the times better than. So, uh, no. Sometimes it's just more annoying than. Maybe. I get that with black metal. Um, can't listen to black metal. Can't listen to black metal, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, there is no uh, simple answer to this question. Sorry. We, we don't have it. Uh, yeah. Uh, in this festival, will you have any time to see any other bands, or are you excited to see some other bands? Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> Actually, we, we are uh, dying to see High on Fire. So this is uh, th this will be the first time I I'm getting a chance to see them live. So I'm very excited. Yeah, totally. Uh, much a much better chance than uh, we've had in London, where we pretty much didn't have yeah. a chance to see. Anything. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what's in for uh, Dope Lord for the rest of the year, 2018? We're gonna do, um, we're gonna do one more tour, uh, Northern Europe, Scandinavia, uh, perhaps a bit of uh, Germany too. Mm. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, around two weeks again, um, and then well, we'll be working on some new stuff too. Hopefully. Uh, probably won't manage to record anything this year, but maybe, maybe. We're thinking about one special extra release, but uh, I, I don't think I can say anything else right now. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. No. You are. You do. You do. <laughs> um, anything else? Am I missing anything? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be like touring for mm, until September and then we're uh, starting to try harder in, in working on some of the new stuff so we can record the, the fourth album next year.
Okay, thank you so much and uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thank you.